everyone, welcome back. And we have got a real treat here because this is something that I do get nervous about. I see the big fish. <laughs> People get intimidated, right? <laughs> this is the head fishmonger team leader um, over in the fish department at Whole Foods. Welcome, this is Doreen Kensler. Thank Welcome. You. And um, I saw her bring it in, I'm like, oh gosh, what are we gonna do with it? <laughs> so tell us, what are we gonna do with We're this gonna fish do today? And what is fun it? Fun stuff. <laughs> fish is awesome, fish, fish is so much fun. People are so afraid of fish, it seems yeah. like. And what do I do with it? Oh yes. my gosh, I'm, I'm so How long do I cook it for? What do I do with the scale? Right. Exactly. It's looking at me. So I thought first I'd show you what to look for when buying a fresh whole How fish. How to buy it. Okay, even yeah. better. Yes. Okay. This is a yellowtail snapper. It's from the Gulf wow, in that's Florida. Gorgeous. It is beautiful. Look at all the purples, the greens, the yellow. That's exactly. cool. Exactly. And they call it yellowtail. Gotcha. It's I love it. a little it. yellowtail. Mm -hmm. You want to look for clear eyes. Okay. Um, not murky or cloudy, okay. anything like that. The scales are tightly adhered. Okay. When you touch it, it it's not spongy. It kind of springs it's back. A bit for, okay, got it. Yep. Got it. Um, and his gills are nice, dark color, so you know and it's you a fresh fish. And you can ask to look at all of this, right? Absolutely. I mean, you, can, you can look at it. And, yes. Um, and the nice thing with this is that you can do whatever you want with it. Absolutely. You can do, and, and and it'll actually, I feel like they sometimes keep longer. If they you, do. If you don't get just the fillets, if you decide not to cook it that night, exactly. it will still be okay to cook it the next day. Fish okay. is, is decomposing as soon as you pull it out as of water. Do, so yep. care right. is important. Right. It's like how you take care of the fish. I always tell my guys, you take care of the fish, it takes care of you. There you go. <laughs> so same holes for you. There, live by that. <laughs> exactly. A lot of people like to cook these whole, right. but we do fillet them for you free of charge. We okay. get um, all kinds of whole fish. Okay, okay. Hilton Head really loves whole fish. And so you're it's selling great. a lot of it. Now, um, what's this next one that we have this here? This is a flounder. Uh, a flat fish. Flat fish. He, uh, so crazy. Flounders are great. We've already scaled this one, so I can show okay. you how to fillet it. Okay, we, yeah. Um, let's go for it. Let's do it. All right. So, but first, so I crazy. need to. We've, I've scaled it already. Okay. Because I'm dressed for it, and you're right. not. So and <laughs> there's one time, um, Chef, uh, Chef Brad, uh, that I've worked with before. He was trying to show me how to scale. And he's yeah. kind of said, go for it, and he walked away. He came back, and I just had it like in yeah. my hair. Like, oh, yeah, when I get home, my cats love it me. It was horrible. <laughs> so, you want to so I'll just ask you guys to do it if that's okay. We, we love to do it. <laughs> so you start right behind his gills and kind of okay. cut. I don't cut the head all the way off. Right. And then I like to start with it. The dark side is a little bit thicker. Okay. It doesn't taste any different, but you just use the very tip of your knife just to get right on top of that backbone. Right here. on that backbone right here. Yeah. Gotcha, okay. And I picked the hardest fish to fillet. <laughs> She's just challenging I'm herself. I'm feeling sassy. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just kind of peel it back a little. And you, you just, just peel use the tip. it. Yeah. And keep your knife flat as possible. And make sure you have a sharp knife. Very sharp. Jason, who was here last time, sharpened it for me. Right, right, right. Henceforth, I'm wearing a chain glove. Right, and that's, again, and to be careful when you're doing this. Absolutely. Now, but y'all, will do this away. for, for people if they would like if Absolutely. they need you to. Okay. Yes, yep. Okay. And we also steam shrimp for free. Oh wow. We'll peel and devein it for you okay. for free. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Right there. That's for free. That's free is good. That's great. <laughs> so there's Beautiful. a fillet. And so there's the rest of his yeah. frame. And you do the wow. same thing with the other side. Okay. Um, which I can do if we sure, have enough yeah. time. We'll just, uh, well, I'm gonna be asking you questions while you're doing that yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, what is in season right now? What is something that's, um, that you have plen plenty of right now? Lots of whole of the snapper, like oh, snapper? I was showing okay. you. Also the red snapper, ah, which I is so good. Yeah, it's, I love it's the delicious. Snapper. What is, I know we were talking about it earlier, and I'm sure people always ask, okay, I have it, now what do I do with it? What's exactly, your... so many people are afraid of, of cooking fish. <laughs> right. Um, and so, what I want to tell you is, fish is fun. It's so easy. The less you do to it, the better. The better it is. Um, all you really need to do is put on a little bit of, one thing I want to make sure, I can't talk and do this at the yeah. same time, I'm going <laughs> to leave him here for a second. Um, the less you put on it, the better. Okay. Basically, something like a, a flounder. You don't want to put citrus on it until after you've cooked until it. Until after, that's Pop a good Pop them tip. in the oven, Yeah. 350, 10 minutes, 12 minutes it's not even. Tops. It doesn't even take a long time no. to cook it. No, no. little you fresh don't... dill, and then do the lemon right at the end. At the end of oh. it. Not cook, don't cook with it, but cook, no. squeeze citrus it on afterwards. Is, it acts as a tenderizer, so gotcha. you, it will break it down faster. And you don't want, and you because you want it to flake, you don't want it to be mushy. Exactly. Gotcha, okay, great. So many people tend to overcook the fish, Yeah. and so that's the biggest they do, problem. They're like, how do we know when it's cooked? You'll know because it's flaked. But ten, it's about ten minutes, especially for a fillet like that, doesn't take long at all. Now, if I don't want to do any of this, 
and I just want to come in because I don't have time. You have you you brought go. me something else, right? I brought you a special treat. Okay, now this is one of their pre-made items, not cooked though. It's not pre cooked. And what is this called? This is called our Southern Barbecue Bourbon Salmon. Now I'm just going to take this out, but this is just the container it, that you sell it in. Correct. But, um, but it's in the counter, so let's go in. What does, in, you it's it full of goodness, let me tell you. Yeah, it's, go ahead. The best thing to do, this is in a parchment paper, which you will cook the fish inside of this. Gotcha. Um, and we'll leave oven. it just like that. Wrapped we'll leave up. it wrapped up. I'm going to open show it you guys and show you all the it, yeah. good stuff inside. It's got quinoa. Oh, it's you're kidding me. Kale. Like it has a whole meal in it. Yeah. A little bit of um, that is some fresh vegetables. Oh, Doreen, that's awesome. Sea salt Yo, and a little bit of spice. Oh, it's so good. It's that looks The bourbon great. sauce is what makes it, though. So these will already be made. Yes. In a parchment, um, curled up just like that was. Correct. And that'll be in your uh, your seafood case. It's so, in our case. And you just pop this whole thing, not in this, but maybe on like a sheet pan or something, and just pop it in the oven. 375, 10, 12 minutes. And That's it steams it. itself. It does. And oh, it's that like, you can so you tell my friends that you did it. Yes. We'll do all the work for you. You take all the credit. Even if you put it on the plate in front of them and let it open it, like, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great. It's a great presentation. It for is, sure. and it's easy and quick. I love if you're it. You're looking for a quick dinner. We have all different kinds of selections well, like that. Whole Foods for you. is there to definitely make your life easier, and Doreen's team is definitely there to make seafood easier for you. Um, and let us know what times are you open. In, we are in open nine to nine okay. right now for our winter hours. Okay. Um, that will shift a little bit during getting closer to Thanksgiving. Okay. We'll open at eight a.m. and stay open till ten. Wonderful. 10. Well, thank you so much. And thank again, you. They are in uh, the uh, Shelter Cove. Uh, right there next to TJ Maxx and right there at the end and uh, make sure you check them out. Lots of good stuff there, not only in all the other departments, but especially the seafood department. <laughs> Thanks, Doreen. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment.